Want to update you on the tropics and how things are shaping up over the coming week. It could get pretty interesting for folks living along the southeast U.S. and even along our coastal waters. And I'll explain why coming up. You can see right now not a lot going on. There is a little boundary here with some clusters of showers and storms, but nothing showing signs of tropical development. It's quiet right now in the Gulf of Mexico and across the Caribbean, but it's this cluster of showers and thunderstorms that's starting to show some more signs of development. Not too far from the Virgin Islands here. It's going to continue to work off to the west northwest, and eventually the Hurricane Center believes this has a 60% chance of development. So doesn't look like it's going to develop over the next 48 hours, but you go out three to seven days, especially later in the weekend, we may see some type of a tropical system developing, whether it becomes a tropical storm or whether it's a depression, how quickly it develops. There's still a lot of question and uncertainty, but generally the Hurricane Center believes it's going to come in here. Some of the models carry it to the north, some of it carry it farther to the west. Let me take a look at kind of how these scenarios play out. First of all, again, you've got uh, three different general scenarios. The thinking is that that disturbance is going to continue to move. So that wave will move across the Turks and Caicos. And once it gets into this area, there is that chance for development. If it remains relatively weak and disorganized, it will likely carry farther west, maybe move across the Florida Keys and come into the Gulf of Mexico, where the GFS, that's the global forecast system, the U.S. model, does strengthen it a little bit into next week. So still some question, longer range, but there could be a tropical system in the Gulf of Mexico if this thing remains weak and disorganized. If it develops sooner, the system gets stronger, it would likely be picked up and carried a little farther to the north. If it develops later in the weekend, and this is the most likely scenario, then it could be a stronger system and it gets a little closer to the southeast U.S. Here's Norfolk. Let me show you the models that talk about this. I mentioned the GFS carries it as a weaker system eventually into the Gulf of Mexico. The Canadian and the European models have this chance for it becoming a little bit stronger and moving it closer to the southeast. So here's a look at the European model, and we picked this up Saturday, 9 a.m. Still a lot of rain back down across the Bahamas. As we get into Sunday, you can see the system kind of take shape here. This is Monday now. It makes that turn, and again, this is a European model. You'll notice how here's Hatteras, here's Norfolk. The system is actually centered offshore, and it continues to move off to the northeast and, again, away from the area. If the European is correct, we really don't see much here in Hampton Roads. We'll see some rough surf. There might be a little bit of beach erosion along the Outer Banks, but the bulk of this would stay, the more violent part of this system would stay well offshore. The Canadian model also takes a similar track. So that's more to what the Hurricane Center is leaning to as a solution for this. But there is still some question as the GFS carries it towards the Gulf of Mexico. So it could go some different ways. In any scenario, we will continue to keep you updated and watch this very, very carefully. If this thing does continue to develop and gets organized, the next name on the list is Debbie. Stay tuned to 13 News Now for more updates.